it's 2022, new year, new tech. What am I carrying with me these days as my daily carry? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Easta, and I do a lot of videos on tech and photography. So, welcome back. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, like, and follow. Links for all the socials are below. I thought I'd throw that in right now. Um, I'll go into a little more detail of that later on in the video. But let's get into the video. It has changed, like I said. So let's start off. We're going to go smallest to largest. So right off the bat, um, my phone of choice is the iPhone XS. Yep, still rocking it from 2018. This phone has lasted me well. Um, I've actually gotten this phone from a place twice because I completely destroyed it. But if this breaks again, I will be getting a new phone because I have no more Apple Care on it. Um, this is a 256 gigabyte variant, and that is a sticker from Peter McKinnon, another amazing photographer, and I'll link his channel below. Um, so yeah, this is a 256 variant, I'm actually using this to monitor me right now, and yeah, so uh, this is not a 5G, it's LTE, uh, battery life is not amazing, um, I can get from around 5am until around 1pm and the battery's dead, so you know, 6 hours heavy usage, um, which is not great, It's not, especially in today when you're getting like the 13 Pro Max that gets like, you know, 18 hours and all that. Um, and it also depends on what I'm doing. If I'm on Wi-Fi, the battery life is so much better, but the Wi-Fi here doesn't really work. And so I'm on data non-stop. Um, if I'm doing a lot of YouTube or I'm editing pictures and uploading them to the socials, then this won't even last five to four hours. So um, I am looking to upgrade this at some point. Right now I'm just using a battery case, but that's a whole other conversation for another day. This is the 10s, so it's the 5.8 inch screen, not the larger 6 inch screen on the 10s Max. Um, I love this form factor. It's small. It fits in my hand really well, and it fits in my skinny jeans. So yeah, phone of choice, iPhone 10s. Next up in size, we have my tablet. Now, originally, and in my closet actually, I have the original iPad Air. That was actually one that got passed down to me through my mother when she upgraded to an iPad Pro, um, and I got that. But then, a little bit after that, I went and was hanging out with some friends, and a friend bought an iPad Air. Well, I bought it for him, he paid me back, and he decided he didn't want it, so I traded some stuff and got it from him. So this is the iPad Air from 2019. I'm going to take it out of its case. I love this tablet because it's big enough that it's not annoyingly small, but it's also not so huge it's the size of a computer. Now, this is a two inches smaller than my smallest laptop I carry with me. That's a hint for coming down the road. But um, I love this. It's great for editing. It's great for document writing. It's watching Netflix, YouTube. It is shattered. Um, yeah, so this is a 256 gigabyte variant as well. And I have an Apple Pencil Gen 2. So the Gen 2 is the one that doesn't plug in, but it has the smart connector and sits on the side and charges like so. Um, yeah, this does not have promotion uh, as the iPad Pros do. And it has no face ID, even though you can see a notch cut out here because that's the screen protector. This has touch ID, so. Uh, yeah, so again, 256, no promotion, great device, I love it. Um, I have it in a very hefty keyboard case. This is the Folio Touch from Logitech, and it, it has a backlit keyboard and a trackpad, which is nice. Uh, it does get a little thick, as you can see, it's a, it's a thick one. I'm going to put up an AirPods, AirPods next to it for comparison. So it is a thick case, it's also heavy, it's heavier than the iPad itself, but I love it because it makes it easy for document writing and all that. In the end, once you have all this stacked together and all that, it weighs about it weighs about the same as a full-on laptop. So that's my tablet of choice. Before we move on to a computer, actually, I'm going to talk about AirPods because I just brought them up. Um, I carry two sets with me. I have AirPods Pro, first gen with a Wolex case on them. This case costs around $40, so that puts you right <laughs> Oh, the $300 mark for these headphones. Um, yeah, so AirPods Pro first gen, and they are doing great. Um, they don't always stay in my ears 100%, but I love the noise cancellation, so it's really worth fighting with them. And then I also have AirPods Gen 2 um, with no case, and these are old and not in the best shape. Um, these, the sound is going out on them and they're getting weird. They've lost pretty much all their bass completely. And so yeah, these are doing okay. These are like, if these are dead and I really need to listen to music or have a meeting or something. 
Yeah, so those are my headphones. My GoPro actually. And I carry this in my bag to an extent as well, just because I carry this in my bag just because it allows me to record on the go. This is the GoPro Hero 10, so it has, just like the 9 did, it has little flip outs on the bottom, so that's amazing to just hook onto something really fast. Um, it has that front display as well as the back display, obviously. Uh, 5.5K video at 60 frames per second, 4K 120, uh, 2.5K 240, and 970 at 460 frames per second, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that last one. Uh, yeah, so I carry this with me just in case I want to get some quick footage because it's good enough that if I then stabilize it and turn on, turn on some software that would de-warp it and all that, it'll look like fine normal video, especially if I put it on linear as well. So yeah, this camera um, I use, it has of course the removable lens cover so I could put on a max lens if I wanted even better stabilization and all that. So yeah, this is the camera I carry with me just for quick footage. Now, let's get into the laptops. My first laptop I carry, and this is the main one I carry with me actually, is a MacBook Air from 2015. Now, why do I carry a laptop this old with me? Well, it's pretty simple. It's small, it's lightweight, and all the stuff I need to do, such as document writing and all that, I can do on this laptop. So it has a good keyboard. It's snappy though, it works, it does great. Um, yeah, and this is just a good little laptop to carry with me because I don't do a lot of picture editing on it, obviously. Um, it's very thin, lightweight, and yeah, this has 120 gigs of storage, so I have around 70 free after I've thrown some apps on it. And yeah, this is pretty much why I do all my document writing, email writing, and honestly, some of my website stuff, stuff too if I'm on the road. So yeah, that's my secondary laptop slash main laptop, which sounds weird. And then that leads me to the other laptop I have with me that I will carry with me on occasion, this big boy. This is my 2019 16-inch fully specced, fully maxed out laptop. Um, and by that I mean this is the 8-core i7, core i9, 64 gigs of memory, um, 8 terabytes of storage. Yeah, so I love this because it's a complete workhorse. I usually leave this just plugged into my monitor at my desk and carry the MacBook Air with me when I go places. But if I need something on the road or I just need access to a lot more of my files, I will be taking this with me because this has my entire life on it. Um, except for last year's photography stuff, which I actually moved on to external drive, so good job me. Um, yeah, this has, of course, Touch ID. Uh, the battery is pretty decent still. It's around 84% health. So I can easily get six to eight hours of battery on it, especially if I'm not streaming. Um, if I'm doing video editing, I prefer to keep it plugged in just because of how intensive that is. But yeah, this laptop is a dream and it works really well. Um, yeah, uh, you can see the get off your phone sticker there. Um, that's from a friend. Um, yeah, and then again, another Peter McKinnon sticker. So this one, um, as I said, is the Touch ID. So the 16-inch, this is the new refresh screen, so it has the really, really slim bezels. Of course, not like the new 16-inch with the notch, but I prefer not having a notch. Um, and again, like I said, it has like all my files in here. Um, yeah, so 8 terabytes of storage. This thing reads and writes at around 2.5 gigs per second, which is phenomenal. And yeah, uh, this is what, again, yeah, it's amazing. It, this is uh, the refreshed, but... Um, Magic Keyboard, I believe it's called. I'm not sure. So it's not the weird butterfly keyboard. So it actually sounds decent. Yeah, I love this keyboard. Um, so much better than the really weird ones from 2016 and 17. So yeah, that is this bad boy. Let's talk wallet, because why not? Um, I carry this little dinky wallet. I carry this wallet I actually found on Amazon one day. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it. This is one of the, it's kind of like a Ridge wallet, except it was $20, and it's still RFID blocking, and it's still can hold a bunch of cards. So, this is how slim it is when there's nothing in it. Of course, I have my school's, you know, card thing that's breaking on the back, whatever. Um, yeah, so it's just, you know, the elastic classic, and you just slide all your cards in. So, um, if I grab cards, slide them in, then that automatically makes it a little bit thicker, then throw some cash on the back because it does have that money clip, and then throw in my two IDs on the front, boom, and yeah, so this is what, I do not like how thick this is, but the elastic is starting to wear out a little bit, and so I usually will keep more cards in just to make sure everything's secure, 
I've thought about actually putting a rubber band around it just for actual extra safety, but I have not 100% decided on that. And that is actually pretty much it. Oh, and last but not least, I always have this on my wrist. You've probably seen it in like half my videos. Apple Watch Series 4. Now, why do I have the Series 4? Well, it was cheap. I wanted to get a Series 5, but that was a little bit over my budget. Uh, but you can pick up a Series 4 anywhere from $150 to like $210 right now. And I was like, you know what, we're just going to splurge and get that real quick. I had a Series 5 before this, but I spent around $700 on that one, and I couldn't justify keeping it, so I actually returned that one. And that was actually right after the Series 5 came out, so I returned that Series 5, waited a while, and then bought the SE. I accidentally bought the small one, didn't like the size, returned that, and then I had this um, for this Series 4 for around six months now. And I love it, it's small, it just it unlocks my phone with a mask while I'm wearing a wrap mask, it unlocks my laptop, so if I'm wearing a mask, it's just great. So yeah, that is why I wear an Apple Watch. I also have a couple other fitness watches that I don't actually have with me here, um, but I usually will be wearing some smartwatch of some kind. I have some non-smartwatches, but I just prefer having a little bit more knowledge about either my body or just the world around me without having to pull my phone out of my pocket all the time with its horrendous battery life all the time. And speaking of battery life, if I am doing something that's a lot more battery intensive or I know I'm not going to be around power for a while, I do have a Mophie battery case. This is actually for the iPhone 10 because it's uh, USB, USB on the bottom, but I have this and it will give me a couple more hours of battery life on my phone. Um, I do not always have this on my phone because it is it's very thick, but I do keep this with me in case I need a little more extra charge one day. So yeah, with that being said, I think that pretty much wraps up today's video. Um, if you liked it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, you know the drill. Links are below for everything I've mentioned in this video, be it tech or Peter McKinnon's channel, or even the video where I got the inspiration for this over by Justin, uh, on Justin's channel. Um, yeah, so comment down below what you want to see in an upcoming video, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy, fam. Peace.